What's going on guys and welcome back to another Nestle video. So guys, today's another episode of Surprise Sunday. That's where we open a product that contains a surprise and we're like, what the mac and cheese and meatballs is going to be today? Well, I've actually got something quite random. I picked it up at my local dollar store, which uh, I don't know if it should be called a dollar store because recently they started selling air conditionings there for like $1,000. So uh, that's not quite a dollar, but anyway, that's way off topic. We got something quite random, but for this Surprise Sunday, we have... Super Mario Galaxy cards like what the mac and cheese and meatballs actually made these things So apparently these were like promotional uh, trading card games they were quite big back when Super Mario Galaxy came out If you don't know what the game is, uh, it's a game for the Wii back in the day and It was one of the best games for the Wii. It was really really good um, I enjoyed it and Super Mario Galaxy 2 came out But anyway, I saw these and I thought that'd make a really cool surprise Sunday Because I haven't seen these and I think a lot of people wouldn't have seen these unless you have but Leave a comment if you know what these are but, uh, but they've got one in six, they contain a super rare special foil card. That's the one we're going to go for today. They've got about six cards per booster, I think. So uh, so hopefully, with our four boost packs we have here, we're going to pull a special foil card. So there's only two artworks, which is kind of bad. Like, come on, uh, Mario, you've got to give us some options, man. So uh, the first artwork here, oh, if we can get it, oh, we'll try to zoom out again. Sorry, there we go. Um, the first artwork, we've got Mario doing an upside down super flip. Like, he's gymnastic talented, this guy. Look at him, and he's still got his hat on. Like, I don't know how he does it. That must be super glued to his hair, or it's an, it's like a wig or something. Because look at that, it's just staying on. And we've got all the stars around, which looks cool. And Super Mario Galaxy down the bottom. Now, the second one here is probably my favorite one. It's got all the enemies up top here, which is really cool. Uh, that evil plant guy looks like uh, some of my plants in the back here. And then we've got him doing like a super spin. He's like, yes, look at my magic powers. And then we got like the sun or something, some of the worlds down here. So uh, they're the two artworks we got today. We'll start with this one because we've got three of those and we've only got one of the other one. So without further ado, here we go. Let's hope we can get a special foil card. Oh, and on the back, it's got like your ratios and stuff. Uh, so we've got four trading cards per one, one pop-out standee card and a uh, tattoo card. So there we go. Let's go. Oh my God. What are we going to do with the tattoo card, guys? Who wants a tattoo? Huh? Thumb. Oh gosh, that is an actual tattoo card. Look at that. That's awesome. So uh, I'll put that one down. But look at this. This is really cool. Oh gosh, it's gone all dark. But anyway, so we got a penguin and a. Uh, oh, what's that say? It says like pyre and a plant or something like that with the penguin there. I remember the penguin from uh, Super Mario 64. That's really cool. Fun tats. We'll put that one at the back. I might layer myself up later. And then we got a pop-out card, which I think is just literally... we. Pop this is cool! Why can't all trading cards be like this? This is actually really well thought out and I like it. So I think we stand it up like that. I'm pretty sure it is. Try to uh, focus that one. There we go. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. If only all uh, trading cards would be like that. So I guess we'll put that one there. And uh, take a look at the cards that we got here. Oh, if we can get them. Oh my gosh. This looks really well made. I love these. So, uh, so it looks like we got a U uh, Urochin or something like that. A Uchin. That looks cool. It's like some sun planet. Then we got King Catalina's Battlefield, which looks awesome. Uh, that's a really cool level as well. Bowser Jr.'s Airship. I love this. Um, the art. This is all like artwork from the game. So it's good advertisement as well, I guess. And our last one is Toad. Oh, he's a boss. I got Toad on my couch from Mailman Monday. That's awesome. So, oh, I love these packs. They're so cool. If only, like, more trading cards were, like, this imaginative of what they included. We get tattoos, a pop-up card, and some trading cards. And we're still trying to get the foil card as well. Oh, my gosh, how well are these sealed? They've been sealed for, like, 5 million years, probably. So, that's why the glue's, like, had its fun. It's working extra well. So we'll take the uh, tattoo from the back. Looks like we got a, what is that? Um, we've got a Goomba. That's not a Goomba. That's a, I forget what he's called. Cooper. Cooper Trooper. And then we got a Boo Mario and a Black Star. So that looks like uh, something you put in your motorbike or something like that. You imagine how gangster you'd be if you did that. So then our, oh, this is cool. Fire Mario is our pop-up card now. So we'll take a look at this one. Stretchy stretch. Come on, Mario. You got this, Beanizzle. There we go, fire him up like that, Ooh, there we go, oh my gosh, we're getting a real collection now, that looks so cool, and our four cards, what are we going to get, come on, where is our... So we now we got the king version of the card we pulled before. It looks like an octopus man, a wiggler, that looks awesome. And then our two world cards, which is Rocky Trails, Gusty Garden Galaxy, what a name, and a power collection, and that's not shiny. Uh, flip for trivia, and then we got some Mario trivia on the back. It says, uh, test your knowledge, who does Mario have to defeat to gain his first power star? 
Oh my gosh, I got no idea. I'm not even going to attempt it, guys. But there's the answers on the back. Did you guys get it right? Test yourself. That's right. General knowledge. Learning things on Unlisted Leaf since when? Never. All right, next pack. Come on, we can do this. Oh my gosh, what is this? Another... Oh, we got Fire Mario's One Massive Tat. That looks awesome. That look pretty bad ass if I don't say so myself. And then we'll flip this one around. We're getting all different ones. This is great. We're not doubling up. So we got a Spring Mario is this one. Oh, that looks cool as heck. How awesome does that look? I love these 3D things. Like, I'm such a little kid, but look at the collection we got going now. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so happy with these. And they're only a dollar each. All right, so what do we got? We got a Planet in Terrence Galaxy, so that looks pretty random. A scratch, I'll scratch, uh, there, there. you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. And they're both bumblebees there. Then we've got a Lumali, which is another star there. He's holding up his little toad heads. And a Baron Burr. That looks pretty menacing, if I don't say so. My, it's a boss as well. It looks like there. It says at the top, which is a boss. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty cool. But, guys, we're on the last flipping pack. Come on. We still haven't pulled our foil card, I believe, in Life After Love. I believe in Life After Love. Ba -bow, bow. All right. Come on. We got this. Okay. What's the tattoo? We haven't doubled up on tats yet. It looks like we got a bumblebee, a, uh, what is that? A bat thing and a red shell, which, uh, red shells are the best. You can just smack people down with them. And we got another Fire Mario. Damn, we doubled up on the flippy thing, but that's all good in the hood. We'll take a look at all our flippers there. They are so cool. Oh my gosh, I love them. That's awesome. And then on the back of this one, we have a Electro Gumas, which looks pretty sweet. A purple coin. There we go. Oh, there we go. And then we've got a Set Luigi Free. That is a nice looking artwork there. Poor Luigi, he's trapped. He never has any good luck. And Bowser Jr. Boss card is our final one there. So we didn't end up putting a, uh, pulling a, what is it, foil card, but that's all good because uh, we got to witness the coolest booster packs I've ever seen ever. Like, they just come with so many goodies. That is awesome. What did you guys think in the comment section below? Have you even heard of these before? I reckon they're cool. What do you guys think? But most of all, what do you think? Guys, what do you do? You keep on gaming or keep on stealing Princess Peach. Ah, 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 ah.